Hey friends, Corey here. You guys gotta see this new attack strategy. It's a Zap Electro Dragons. This is crazy man, he's rocking nine freaking lightning spells, man. Nine of them. Man, make sure you watch this video till the end because I'm gonna be debuting a brand new Town Hall 11 attack strategy in this video as a bonus as well. Oh my god, dude, this is wild stuff, bro. Check this out. First of all, he used what? I don't even know how many he used. He had nine, so he used four, including the maxed out ones. A fifth one down on the clan castle. He also took out an air defense on that side. And one more. So it looks like he used up six of those nine lightning spells, getting that clan castle taken out, which can be done at Town Hall 11, as long as you use two max lightnings inside your clan castle. Now he's got three other lightnings. Boom, gonna zap down a sweeper and an air defense right here. We can already see nice little funnel being created inside of the base now he's going to bring the electro dragons in from this side all right ad always important for electro dragons but guys that sweeper big time value on this e-dragon push e-drags can you know usually chain off those air defenses you know but the sweepers especially he's only got one rage spell you really put a hamper on this attack strategy really really fast because those electro dragons are so freaking slow man check this out he's got a free spell left and he's got a single electro dragon that's going to be facing off with that queen gets a ch first chain damage on her uh, after that he's going to have to freeze her man because she can cut through that e dragon pretty dang quick the freeze is going to put her on ice allows him to get off another chain one more should get the kill there we go and look at this man look at this stone slammer how it's going to be finishing off this attack look at that thing man still full health on that stone slammer he delayed it he delayed it and direct targeted this multi-target inferno on the front side you know multis might not burn three e dragons real fast but especially if you got a big group of them and you have a really difficult pathing to it man they're so slow that a single multi-target inferno can wreak havoc on a group of e dragons if they're not gonna have any chain lightning pathing into it or if they're not gonna have any direct pathing it into it either so finally man that stone slammer goes down those max loons are gonna be more than a match for that remaining multi-target inferno dude dude how many let's count these one two three i can't even count those ones dude there's at least three e dragons up there at least two e dragons down there so we got at least five electro dragons left at the end of this raid man are you freaking kidding me let's take a look at what made this base a really good choice for this attack strategy honestly man what i'm seeing first two things on this i guess first one not the biggest one but it's going to be the multi-target infernos all right single target infernos can just zap straight through your e-dragons with quickness lock on dead lock on dead all right so multi-target infernos does help that being said you can't ignore them they can still wreak havoc on your e-dragon especially since there's no pathing to it with chains no direct pathing to it uh you know just straight up pathing to it but the number one huge thing that makes this base amazing for e-dragons is going to be the chain value all right any structures especially defenses that's what we're really looking at here that have one tile or fewer between them whether it's diagonal or straight across those can be changed so we got look at these chains man boom 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 i mean we have chain pathing into all of the remaining air defenses we have strong chain pathing into the eagle artillery all right so these group of e-dragons is going to be able to take this stuff out all right you still can't ignore these uh in multi-target infernos though even though they're not singles you still gotta have a plan for getting those taken care of otherwise your e-dragons man if you leave them to their own devices they're just going to dance around those things for the whole attack until they get melted so he's going to clear out some pathing here he's going to direct target it with his stone slammer uh he's going to get i don't know if he sent that king in there on purpose to get it but stone slammer direct targeting was absolutely beautiful he just waited for it man he just waited check this thing out man let's break this down all right first we're we're, we're kind of excited over all the spells he's got um, but now, dude, we're really going to break this down. We're going to watch how he takes care of this. Taking out the CC in the backside, uh, air defense, pretty big too, man. You know, air targeting stuff in the CC, you know, can really slow down your E-Dragons, man. They're so super slow that if you got, like, witches in there that are spawning a bunch of skellies to distract the E-Dragons or a bunch of minions or a bunch of archers, you know, can really slow that down and a backside air defense can definitely definitely wreak some havoc on them as well especially when they're thinned out you're out of spells on that backside can really cause some big issues so getting that clan castle in the air and the air defense down to some big time value we already talked about why that sweeper was such big value and of course another air defense always good on this but look at this man he's trimmed these outer defenses so that even right here like as soon as this cannon goes down you look at these defenses in a straight line and you got to say can i direct target this multi-target inferno well the answer is man if you're drawing a straight line between these three defenses and then you go down at a 90 degree angle 
you could drop something like right here and that is going to go in even right now and direct target that multi-target inferno and that's a great place to drop your stone slammer you might even wait for another chain to get off though because if he just gets this cannon out of the way right here then he's got even easier chain pathing straight from this side or excuse me straight straighter pathing for that stone slammer that's exactly what he's gonna do man stone slammer is going directly in there he's gonna pop that grand warden ability covering all those troops for that last air defense uh honestly he could have popped that a little bit earlier though and gotten better value by the time you pop that grand warden ability all that stuff in there was already dead man the e-dragons already made that base disappear and then as far as audibles in the middle of the attack freezing that queen was beautiful man she could really slow things down if she stays alive if chains aren't pathing to her so that freeze is going to allow that single e-dragon to get that queen taken out with just under half health remaining man keeping so many of those electro dragons alive also uh troops inside your stone slammer on these this is exactly why i like bringing all loons and not just another electro dragon look what's left at the end of this attack man you got that stone slammer still up you got a bunch of you got a bunch of e-dragons on the field but they're slow they're gonna take a long time to get some of that cleanup done and if you've missed a building back here so help you man you're in big trouble all right these remaining e-dragons if he would have had another e-dragon inside of that stone slammer it would have also danced around this multi-target inferno just like these are gonna do but the loons in there the maxed out loons for First of all, way stronger than the Town Hall 11 loons, so they're a good touch. And cleaning up the last few stubborn defenses, man, having those seven maxed out loons can be super helpful. We just saw them direct target that multi-target Inferno, get it taken out. And actually, they're going to finish off the last few defenses on this base. Only thing I didn't like about this attack is he's got no minions for cleanup, man. And like I already said, if you were to have like one building left out here, the dragons just decided to skip because hey, they do that, man. Troops do, miners do that sometimes too. Leave a random building out. E dragons are so slow. You're gonna time fail for sure if you don't get lucky on the cleanup. So usually on my electro dragon attacks, I like to drop one of my loons and bring like two minions and a goblin just to help with cleanup. And a lot of times that's gonna be the difference between 98, 99% and a three-star 100% rate. All right, fam, check this out. I had to throw this in there because you don't see it very often. This is my first time seeing it. Triple and award, Town Hall 11. First time seeing anybody try it at Town Hall 11. Zap, hybrid attack strategy. That Zap and the Quake are gonna take down the Clan Castle and that multi-target Inferno inside the core of the base. Now he's just gotta get some value with the Sui heroes and then also create some strong pathing for the miners and the hogs as they move their way throughout the rest of this base let's see man did he bring his own pekka dude he did he brought a king his own pekka and the queen down here they took out the, they tag teamed that enemy king got him down real fast now he's going to be super wall breaking in here to grab this other multi-target inferno that's going to be some excellent value not only is it going to grab that multi-target inferno but once queen steps up in there look at this we, we zapped the core already so now we just have to cut this ring right now we got a ring of defenses and structures around the base and you gotta cut take a chunk out of that ring if you want your miners and your hogs to stay together stay focused all right if you're not already thinking about that you should be it's incredibly important to cut that ring and that's gonna that's gonna be like the number one thing you can do to create that strong pathing all right first of all cut the ring inside the base we got a nice chunk out right here that way these troops are gonna go this way for sure and then using the siege barracks to try and cut in the other side of that funnel that just means that we don't want the miners ducking outside of the base running around on this trash ring we want those miners to stay focused inside the base and the best way to do that is to get rid of the buildings on this side of the base so they have nothing to draw them out there they're gonna go ahead and stay inside that base getting some excellent Excellent value, all right? First of all, we already had that first heal spell come down. Remember, if you're only using six lightning spells, you have room for three heal spells and a Grand Warden ability. When you're able to bring that many miners and that many hogs, that is more than enough to get through the rest of the base. You guys, check this out. Got this base is getting annihilated. Eagle Artillery is going down right now. He's still got a heal spell left. He drops it on this group of hogs right here as they're going through, facing off these last few dangerous defenses. And then on the outside of the base, we got some Teslas out there, probably gonna be some giant bombs out there, but he's still got a P.E.K.K.A. out there with several wizards behind it. Few miners that have joined them out there guys this base just got annihilated by the zap hybrid attack strategy at town hall 11 holy moly the fact you only have to bring six lightning spells uh it makes it really really strong so you're still able to bring three heal spells you guys this one was not even close this thing just got super duper crushed
If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click that button right over my shoulder. If you're already a subscriber, then check out that video on the other side of the screen and we'll keep hanging out.